the diamond sutra realms of nirvana in diamond sutra buddha says someone who has set out in the vehicle of a bodhisattva should decide that i must lead all the beings to nirvana into that realm of nirvana which leaves nothing behind what is this meant by the realm of nirvana which leaves nothing behind what is meant by this realm of nirvana which leaves nothing behind buddha has talked about two kinds of nirvana one is nirvana with subtractum the first one he calls nirvana with subtractum first he calls nirvana with subtractum the tree has disappeared the tree of desire the foliage the leaves the flowers and the fruits everything has disappeared but there is something more to the tree but the roots are still there underground you would have seen you want to uproot a tree you cut out the branches and everything but roots remain remain hidden in the ground so nirvana with subtractum means the flowers the foliage the fruits everything has disappeared but the roots are still in the ground roots are hidden in the dark soil from outside the tree has been removed but the tree is still capable of reviving itself again the substratum is still there the seed has not been burnt as yet this is nirvana with substratum according to vedanta this is called sabij samadhi samadhi is that a state of meditation which patanjali called sabij means with seed it is very difficult from outside the tree has been completely removed but underneath this soil the roots are still alive waiting for the right moment rain fall to sprout again rains will come and the tree will sprout they are waiting for their season for the moment again to assert themselves this is the desires on the surface they seem to have vanished but the roots are still there this is the state when many times you have come to the point where mind disappears no mind is felt but again mind breathes in again the mind is sprouts you reach to a peak in the moment of that peak experience you think all is finished now you will never be falling back to the dark body you think that you will never go back into those ugly and miserable days you think that the dark night of the soul is over the morning has arrived the sun has risen but again one day you suddenly find you are slipping back into the darkness and once again the valley is there the light is no more then the peak experience is just a memory and one starts becoming doubtful whether it has happened or not you wonder have i been just imagining or maybe i was just dreaming you wonder if it had happened actually and if it had happened actually then where has it gone where is that sunlit peak that you had experienced where are those moments of ecstasy and misery is back and so is anger and agony is back too you have fallen back 
into hell again. This happens many times. Buddha calls this Nirvan with Sapratam or Patanjali calls Sabit Samadhi. Manifestation of the world is gone, but the manifested seed still remains. There is another one that is Nirvana with, without subtratum. The second Nirvana Buddha calls Nirvana without subtratum. And according to Patanjali, this is called Nirvij Samadhi, a state of Samadhi when even the seed has disappeared. The seedless Samadhi. Not only the tree has been destroyed, but the seed also burned. A burned seed cannot sprout again. All subtractum is gone. Then you remain on the peak forever and there is no falling back. This is what Buddha says in the Diamond Sutra. Someone who has set out in the vehicle of a Bodhisattva should decide that I must lead all the beings into Nirvana, into that realm of Nirvana which leaves nothing behind, that is seedless Samadhi or Nirvana without subtractum. No roots, no seed is left behind, just emptiness remains. And Buddha continues in this week.